Hello and welcome. On behalf of Mendy or GK and Pathfinder Education Services, I, Manish Kane, welcome all of you to this session on Tisnet 2021, the last 30 day strategy. Well, as you are all aware that the Tisnet exam is scheduled on the 20th of February between 2 p.m. and 3.40 p.m. Many of you who are just starting out their preparation or who have just started recently in the last 7-8 days might be wondering as to how to approach this preparation and how to maximize your scores in the TISNET test. This session is, uh, in this session I am going to talk about all these things. Well, let's get started. So the first thing I am going to talk about is who this session is aimed at. This session is not for everyone, it's not for all test aspirants. It's not for them, 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 it's not for them. So if you've been preparing for TISNET 2021, for the last, say, five, six months, this session is not meant for you. If you've started just now, or just recently, or if you're about to start, and now you want to see approaches to maximize your score, this session is going to help you. So, if you are somebody who is just starting out, just stay with me for the next 20-25 minutes and I hope to help you in developing an approach which will help you maximize your score. So, before I begin, I would like all of you to take a look at these three things. Number one, our telegram channel. You can just click on to the link and join our telegram channel. We will do a lot of interesting things via this channel. You can find a link in the description box itself. You can join this channel for preparation. Uh, there are two channels, Mend Your GK and Mend Your Maths. This channel is for both English, in fact, three things, English, GK and information on examinations. And Mend Your Maths is a channel which will talk about mathematics for any exam and reasoning for any exam. So you can just subscribe to these channels if you are preparing for uh, MBA entrance or even for TISNET in 2021 or 2022. To know more about our courses, you can just call this number and find out more about our courses. Uh, you can visit our website pathfinderforme.com, that's our website. All our courses are listed here and there are some interesting courses for TISNET and we do have a one month course at a very attractive price. You can find the link to that course from the description box below. So with this, let us move to the first step and that is understanding what TIS as an institute is. So it was established in 1936, Kafi Purana Institute hai, and it has been a deemed university since 1964. So I can assure you that this would be one of the oldest uh, institutions offering education in management. And currently, they have campuses at four places, Mumbai, Tojapur, Hyderabad and Guwahati. And they offer master's program in a whole host of things. In fact, their master's programs are not MBA, but they are MA or MSc programs. So that's one difference between TWIS and a typical B school, if you're aiming for B schools. So the master's programs are in development studies, women's studies, environment, climate change and sustainability, urban policy and governance, public health and hospital administration, applied psychology, law, HRM, uh, labor relations, organizational development and analytics. Now this analytics I think is a new course. Social entrepreneurship, media and culture studies, sustainable livelihoods and natural resource governance and disaster management. I don't think there is any other institute in India that offers this mix of courses. Is tarah ke courses offer karne wala shayad India ka ek matra sansthan hai. So, these are very interesting courses. And, you know, I am not going to talk about placements, but I can assure you that most of these programs offer good placements. And, you know, when I say good placements, it means the placements can range from 6 to 17, 18 lakhs, depending on the course. One thing for most of you who are looking for value for money courses, TIS probably offers one of the best value for money 
in terms of salaries offered why versus the fee charged next about the tis admission process now tis has almost standardized and formalized the admission process pehli stage mein aapko tis national entrance test dena padega this test is of 100 questions and 100 questions are worth 100 marks and to be solved in 100 minutes there is no negative marking so that's one advantage <coughs> This is stage one. If you qualify stage one, you will be invited for the stage two, depending on the number of programs you have applied for. If you have two programs applied, then you have to give two test pads, program aptitude test. For people who have applied for labor relations and management programs, they will have to apply for test mat. They will have to appear for test mat, the test management aptitude test. And this test is again. Uh, of 45 minutes duration and the total number of questions are 35 questions and remember in the three stages and let me let me first of all talk about the third stage third stage jo hai wo ek online interview hone wala hai is saal aur tino stage ka weightage bilkul clear hai stage 1 30 percent weightage stage 2 40 percent weightage and stage 3 the weightage of giving given is 30 percent before you start your preparation, you need to have this basic information about the TIS admission process. So it's a three-stage admission process. And let's now talk about TISnet. Again, I am not going to talk about TIS mat in this session. This session I am to totally focusing on the TISnet exam. As I told you a couple of minutes back, there are 100 questions worth 100 marks. There is no negative marking in this examination. And what does it mean for you? So I'm sure all of you know this. If there is no negative marking, it implies you have to attempt each and every question. The three sections that will be asked is English proficiency. And there will be 30 questions in this section worth 30 marks. There is no sectional time limit. Then there is the mathematical and the logical reasoning section worth 30 questions and 30 marks. Again, no sectional time limits. And we have the general awareness section worth 40 questions and 40 marks. So this is the basic composition of the TISnet exam. Let us take a look at the first section that is English proficiency. First things, very clearly mentioned on the website is that the English that they expect is the class 10th level and I believe class 10th level of CBSE. So what kind of questions have appeared in the previous years? Uh, I have seen papers, I have been following this for some years now and I have seen questions based on grammar, on sentence correction, which is nothing but grammar only, then odd ones out, analogies, synonyms and antonyms, reading comprehension and verbal reasoning. So all these things are a part of the test. Now, what should you do to work on English proficiency in the next 30 days? One, if you've been an avid reader, just forget about vocabulary and concentrate on solving more and more questions. So, devote yourself, give yourself say an hour or maybe an hour and a half and solve questions. That is the best way to prepare if you are already good at English. Now, if you have problems with English if you if you're not an avid reader you have to do one addition additional thing along with the preparation and that is you have to work on your vocabulary no matter what anybody says vocabulary does have an impact on your English scores so you can't do the entire word list now but identify a set of 500 2000 words whatever you feel you can manage in one month and try to focus on these 500 to 1000 words. Make sure that by the end of one month, these 500 to 1000 words are known to you very well. And how did I come up with this number 500 or 600? Well, you could very well do 200. It won't affect. The idea is to do something on vocabulary and not be totally oblivious to vocabulary. Vocabulary will not leave vocabulary. 200, 300, 400, 500, जितने words आप कर सकते हो एक महीने में, 
please do them because that will give you one chance the whole strategy of english now revolves around solving topic wise and sectional tests and analyzing them see you cannot you cannot work on your entire vocabulary you cannot go through grammar agar aap grammar mein zero ho you can't do anything in the last one month there are five six major types of errors in grammar try to identify if you appear if you look at if you watch videos at pathfinder those five types of errors six types of errors are very adequately elaborated in the sessions in the video lectures usko dekhoge to shayad aap ek din mein grammar ke jo major errors hote hain aapko samajh mein aane lagenge and then you just have to solve the more questions you can solve the better it will be but hold on don't get carried away with english why because you also have to prepare for current affairs and general knowledge you also have to prepare for mathematical and logical reasoning so when you devote time to english make sure that you devote around 20 25% of your time to english the weightage to english is around 30% so you will have to allot some time 20 25% is a good time allotment for english the next section is mathematics and logical reasoning and again एक कैवियाट है यहाँ पे एक वार्निंग है कि द मैथमेटिक्स एंड रीजनिंग सेक्शन इज एट ग्रेड टेंथ लेवल क्लास टेंथ लेवल का मैथ्स पूछा जाएगा सो डोंट गो फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड क्वेश्चंस हिस्टोरिकली स्पीकिंग मॉडरेट क्वेश्चंस एट मोस्ट द डिफिकल्टी लेवल इज मॉडरेट इन द टिस्नेट एग्जाम एंड वॉट इज बींग आस्ट बेसिक अरेथमेटिक एवरेज परसेंटेज प्रॉफिट लॉस टाइम वर्क टाइम डिस्टेंस रेशियो प्रपोर्शन वेरिएशन all these topics are basic arithmetic topics and i'm sure this would form around 35 to 40% of the questions then you have basic geometry and mensuration which the kind of questions that you see in class 10th level you have trigonometry very very elementary trigonometry basic statistics mean mode median variance standard deviation iske upar questions aa sakte hain basic statistics mein नंबर सीरीज पे क्वेश्चंस आ सकते हैं बेसिक डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन पे आ सकते हैं एनालिटिकल रीजनिंग मतलब ब्लड रिलेशंस हो गया डायरेक्शन सेंस हो गया कैलेंडर्स हो गया क्लॉक्स हो गया कोडिंग डिकोडिंग हो गया इस तरह की सारी चीज़ें एनालिटिकल रीजनिंग में आती है तो ये प्राइमरीली मैथ्स का करिकुलम हो गया अब हमारी स्ट्रैटेजी क्या होगी हाउ डू आई अप्रोच मैथ्स I said around 20 to 25 percent of time to be allotted to English. Similarly, around 30 to 40 percent of time needs to be allotted to mathematics as well. Why? Because this is scoring. अगर if you थोड़े से भी maths में ठीक ठाक हो, तो maths में almost पूरे पूरे number आ सकते हैं test में. So if you are good at maths, just go through the basic theory in two three days, and focus on solving. मॉडरेट लेवल क्वेश्चन टू सिंपल क्वेश्चन फ्राम शीट्स अगर पाथ फाइंडर के स्टूडेंट हो आप तो आपको सिर्फ पाथ फाइंडर की शीट सॉल्व करनी है बेसिक शीट जो पहले दिन मैं आपको शीट देता हूँ हर टॉपिक में वो टॉपिक की शीट आपको सॉल्व करनी है उससे ज़्यादा कुछ नहीं करना है मैथ्स में उससे ज़्यादा डिफिकल्टी लेवल के क्वेश्चन आने ही नहीं वाले हैं तो उसकी चिंता ही नहीं करनी इफ़ यू हैव अ फोबिया ऑफ मैथ्स अगर आपको मैथ्स से डर लगता है थोड़ा मैथ्स से आउट ऑफ टच हो देन आई वुड से that you have 30 days you divide 30 days into two segments the first segment is of 20 days the next segment is of 10 days in these 20 days try to go through the basic of all topics and if all topics are not possible for you then think of eliminating a few what you should not eliminate is basic arithmetic you should not eliminate basic statistics you should not eliminate and analytical reasoning you should not eliminate because there will be some questions on these three areas to agar eliminate karna hai to geometry kar sakte ho isme time bhi zyada lagta hai trigonometry kar sakte ho because you are already out of touch with maths which means you've not done trigonometry in a while and the same thing applies for number series you can eliminate it because number series can be attempted even without doing it agar you're lucky enough you will be able to crack the number series question which appears in exam so try to eliminate judiciously certain topics and thoda sa extra kaam karke make sure that you go through basics of all others that is if you are not able to complete the syllabus i am not advocating to leave out something i am saying 
if you are just not able to finish the syllabus then it makes sense to solve three four topics properly and to omit a couple of topics which might not be as important as those two three four topics so 20 days spent on solving basics again the kind of stuff your stuff you are required to do is basic sheets and at pathfinder as i said only the basic sheets are sufficient to qualify the testnet exam the next 10 days devote to taking topic wise tests and devote to taking section wise tests this will give you an idea as to whether you are able to approach the tests properly so that's how you spend your 30 days and again how much time have you spent in english you've already spent around 25 percent of the time in maths you've spent around 35 percent of the time on the whole you've already spent 60 percent of the time and obviously if around 60 percent of marks are devoted to these two sections it makes sense to spend around 60 percent of the available time on these two sections that brings us to one of the most important sections of the testnet exam and that is the general awareness section and let me tell you i prepare students for many competitive exams I have never seen a general awareness section in any other exam like the testnet general awareness section. Sab kuch puch lete hain, kuch bhi nahi chodte hain. They will have questions on politics, they will have questions on social studies, but there can be a question on science and technology, there can be questions on environment, on sports, on awards, on art and culture, on Indian history and even current affairs. And there lies the problem. Not only is the number of questions the highest, but they will ask you from a broad range of topics, which makes it really difficult to prepare for the general awareness section of TISNET exam. And to add to this, they have a cutoff. General students, if you can't score 35% of the marks in TISNET GK, you will not qualify. And 35% of marks means 14 questions out of 40. So, if you can't solve 14 questions out of 40, you will not qualify the TISNET exam. For some other categories, PWD and OBC categories, uh, the qualifying criteria is 30 percent, that is 12 questions. So, in any case, you need to solve more than 14 questions correctly in the TISNET exam. Now, how do you prepare for a general awareness section? Well, there is no straight answer to that question. Uh, one good thing you can do is you can start reading like, you know, you, you read story books or you would read any book. So, identify these topics and for static GK, just read through. Maybe one reading, two reads for every topic is good enough. Spend four to five hours every day on current affairs and GK. So what happens is when you read through something, you should have enough information and you should have enough confidence to be able to eliminate the wrong options at least. The second thing you can do is you can prepare short notes. So if you're reading for four to five hours every day on for whatever you've read, read create short notes of two to three pages which are easy to revise. So, creating short notes can be one good method to prepare things that you need to mug up in general awareness section. Because everything you cannot mug up, but if you read through, you will have certain information, you will have in enough information to be able to eliminate options. The second thing you can do is you can solve questions. So, for whatever topic you have read, solve questions. So, if you have read environment, start solving questions on environment spend 10 odd minutes on solving questions only. If you read science and technology, the next step should be solve questions on science and technology. Fortunately, if you are a Pathfinder student, you will get short notes on each of them and very relevant short notes, which are not very big, very bulky. They are just enough for somebody preparing in one month. So, you will get short notes, you read those short notes, solve questions on a daily basis, which you get. And that helps you gear up with the general awareness and current affairs sections. But make sure that you leave nothing. This is one topic, this is one area where I will say 
डोंट लीव इवन अ सिंगल एरिया सिंगल टॉपिक बिकॉज यू नेवर नो कहाँ से कौन सा क्वेश्चन कब आ जाएगा फॉर करेंट अफेयर्स आई ऑल्सो रिकमेंड वेरी स्ट्रांगली दैट यू कीप रीडिंग न्यूज पेपर्स ऑन अ डेली बेसिस एंड इफ द टिस्नेट एग्जाम इज ऑन ट्वेंटी एथ फेब्रुवरी ट्राई टू रीड एवरी थिंग यू नो यू मे फाइंड अ क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू करेंट अफेयर्स अप टिल टेंथ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी यू नेवर नो एंड देर फोर मेक श्योर दैट यू रीड न्यूज पेपर्स एंड डोंट टेक रीडिंग न्यूज पेपर्स वेरी लाइटली now that's how you prepare for the general awareness section so let me summarize what i said about general awareness section number 1 you should be reading static gk just read it like a book like a story book if there is a concept or there is a definition or there is some point worth of remembering that probably you can mug up but static gk you should just focus on reading if possible once or twice or thrice also current affairs out of 4 hours every day you should spend an hour on current affairs the rest or maybe even 2 hours on current affairs depends on how familiar you are with current affairs today and third once a topic is done start solving questions based on that topic fourth create notes short notes for everything that you've read so the short note should be containing all the relevant and important information which you feel you will not be able to remember over the next 30 days so you can use those short notes to revise in the last 3 4 days and again one good thing you can do is you can divide this also in 20 and 10 so use 20 days to uh, complete the syllabus and the last 10 days to revise finally i would like to talk about another very very important topic that is how many mocks should i take ये क्वेश्चन हर साल सारे बच्चे पूछते हैं मुझसे सर हाउ मेनी मॉक्स सो इफ यू बीन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर टेस्ट नेट फॉर द लास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स प्रॉब्ली यू कैन टेक एज मेनी एज यू कैन मीनिंगफुली पर अगर अभी तैयारी की शुरुआत की है एक हाथ हफ्ते पहले देन यू बेरली हैव थर्टी डेज टू टेस्ट नेट सो हाउ मेनी मॉक्स कैन यू टेक मीनिंगफुली प्रॉब्ली सिक्स सेवन नॉट मोर इससे ज़्यादा मार्क्स देने की कोशिश मत करना बिकॉज यू ऑल्सो हैव टू कंप्लीट द सिलेबस बट वेन यू डू टेक अ मॉक डू नॉट अज्यूम द मॉक्स स्कोर टू बी एन इंडिकेटर ऑफ योर सिलेक्शन और रिजेक्शन यूज द मॉक्स जुडिशियसली टू प्रिपेयर बेटर टू फोकस ऑन योर वीकनेसेस टू आइडेंटिफाई योर वीकनेसेस यू नो दैट्स हाउ यू यूज मॉक्स सो डू नॉट यूज मॉक्स इन एनी अदर वे लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट आई होप i have been able to answer most of the queries that students generally asked one month before the exam if you still have more questions more queries feel free to contact us on this number reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you one two the link to our testnet 2021 crash course is there in the description box it's a very meaningful course if you're interested and if you want help uh you are welcome to join the course it's available for a very attractive price point at this jun- at this juncture that's all from me right now thank you very much and all the best for your preparation and the tisnet exams